This is Dr. Leon Scott with Soma Pediatric Sports Medicine Think Tanks, one of the sports medicine fellows at Harvard Boston Children's. I want you to take a quick look at this uh, power lifter uh, doing his set. I think this video is a great example of how many power lifters are using their smartphones uh, to record their technique. Uh, there may even be a step to that we can take to further improve the benefit of these videos uh, with apps like uh, Ubersense. Uh, these tools, especially being a physician, allow me to do uh, measurements uh, that uh, potentially were not able to uh, be uh, performed in a reproducible fashion. So I don't have them here, but I have these reflective markers that I can put on the athlete, and then tools like Ubersense allow me to put marker. Uh, uh, measurement tools around these markers. Uh, so if we started at the uh, lateral malleolus uh, a marker over the knee at the fibular head, uh, markers on the greater trochanter, uh, the ASIS of the pelvis, and even markers potentially over uh, spinous processes in the uh, in the back, so we can see where the lumbosacral junction is and the thoracic lumbo junction is. And uh, using these tools, uh, we can do uh, various measurements uh, through the ranges of motion. So potentially, uh, while this individual is in their squat, uh, they would be very interested in seeing if they're breaking parallel, and we can use uh, tools to help measure that. Uh, but potentially, we could also see uh, arbitrarily, I'm just putting these over uh, points in the spine, but we could see what certain ranges of uh, uh, movement are and if they are associated with improved performance uh, or improve or increased uh, injury risk uh, if we had a large enough group of people using these tools. Uh, I think that's pretty cool to do, especially since uh, this data isn't available for pediatric patients, uh, which are uh, patients that often are not skeletally mature. Uh, so I could better provide information for my families uh, and my patients' families uh, about uh, how to perform these uh, movements that increases their strength and their performance while truly minimizing their risk of injury. So I'd like to get people's feedback on uh, this uh, tool or others similar to it and uh, see if there may be a large enough community uh, to start gathering some uh, normative data. Appreciate everyone's feedback. Have a great day.